Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another SnowRunner mod development video and I'm super excited for this one because finally we get to reveal the Kenworth W990. This has been in progress now for about a week. <laughs> Iceberg's made some crazy progress on this and I'm about to start doing a lot of the XML tweaking and uh, other adjustments. You're going to get to see the bare bones what we have now but there's a lot coming with this truck. Uh, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. This is going to be the big rig you've been waiting for, for sure. Uh, the detail on this model is just absolutely incredible. Um, it sounds like, even stock with the stock settings, it sounds amazing, it runs amazing. Some of the animations there, some of it just looks absolutely incredible, guys. But, before I jump into it, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, make sure you drop a sub on the channel. Don't forget to check out Delta Gaming, none of this is possible without DND modding and Delta Gaming. Let's jump into it, guys. Alright guys, time to customize up this Kenworth W990. I've been so excited about this, I'm glad that uh, we can show it now. So we have two engine options. And just keep in mind, there's a lot of XML work that needs done, guys. It's going to happen really fast, but um, this is a very rough state of the truck. But this is the first time we've been able to reveal it. So we have a 12.9 liter Picard MX, MX-13. The 12.9 liter MX-13 engine is characterized by its combination of proven technologies and state-of-the-art innovations that lead in superior fuel economy. Then we have the 14.9 liter Cummins X-15. We all are familiar with the Cummins engines, but this is a refreshed X-15 performance series. It is new to 2021 and designed to meet EPA and greenhouse gas phase 2 requirements. While the X-15 performance series is being updated from the 2017 version, many hardware changes have been in production. We're going to go with that one. For a gearbox, we have stock, high range, and off-road. Um, I'm going to put it in the off-road. I think we're going to have a low manual gear option. I haven't decided yet. This truck does come in all-wheel drive. I'm not sure if, uh, how familiar y'all are with the Kenworths, but um, this is going to be an amazing logging truck, uh, especially with Phase 4 on the way, right? So we have stock suspension. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with the suspension. I think we're probably going to add a lifted suspension a slightly lifted suspension and probably an active suspension um there's not a whole lot you want to do with a semi truck in the first place but i know a lot of the vanilla ones do have raised tires we get 47 highway 47 off-road 47 mud tires 47 chained so uh we don't have all the tire options in again this is very rough with the unicolt stock winch v2 v4 v3 we got the v4 on Independent powered Unicolt winch with the extended length built in can function during stalls. Diff lock, we get the diff lock. Frame add ons, we get saddle high, saddle low. Put the saddle high on. Rooftop, we get sun visor. Double raised beacons, front bumper. It's just a stock bumper, but I think we're going to have some more options later. Um, we also have the heavy steel rim or the heavy chipped rim. This is something brilliant that Iceberg does. Um, steel or chipped. The chipped. It's been used, you can tell. We don't have any color options yet, but that's okay, guys. We're going to pull it out and take a little bit of a better look. All right, first thing I want to know is the detail in this cabin. Some of the vanilla trucks don't even look this good. And I honestly, like, I might sound biased here, but I've never seen a modded big rig with such a detailed cabin or interior. Even the sleeper, like the sleeper in the inside is completely detailed. That looks incredible. Look at all these gauges. Um, the handbrake changes the brake gear uh, gauge, sorry, as well, which is absolutely incredible. Air brake sound sounds amazing. Look at this. Uh, it's it all works. It's just absolutely incredible. I don't even know what to say. Um, when I first whipped this up, I was in shock. I really was. But we're gonna take it for a little drive. Talk a little bit about it in the future of it. This truck, we're planning on adding a few different tire options. This mud tire is really cool. We are probably going to add on some other options. Um, I do plan on adding a raised suspension. A lot of the vanilla trucks have, and I think this will have a lot more potential with the raised suspension, especially once you get into some, uh, some of the adventures you can get into. And we have a little bit of an idea, but not a full idea of what's coming in Phase 4. And it withstands damage pretty good. I probably went a little too fast there, and that's that's stuff we can tweak though, of course. Um, I'm gonna put the all-wheel drive on and the diff lock on. 
See how this handles in the mud here? It's really hard to find a good big rig in mud. So this is something I've been super excited for. The Navistar as a vanilla truck was like the first one I really, really enjoyed and wasn't nervous about in a lot of road conditions. So I've been, I've been very excited to say the least about this. Um, so far, this is, this is stock with the off-road suspension. Um, or sorry, off-road transmission. We don't have uh, lifted suspension or anything. And it is chewing through this. This is an OP because it's still bogging down and slowing down quite a bit. But it is handling pretty good overall. It's really, really nice to see. And just as I say that, I'm probably soon going to be stuck. No, but we're close. I can feel that for sure. I think I can feather myself out of it. Wiggle a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're backing up slowly. This mud is super deep. I've had a hard time going in that mud no matter what I'm driving. But look at this. Look at this. This is just incredible. This Kenworth just kind of came out no problem. That was, uh, well, not no problem. But I was, I was able to recover that without needing a winch, which I think is huge. Overall, this truck is just handling amazing, guys. I can't wait until it's available. Um, this is going to be a console version as well, guys. So it's good. just like the Tacoma. We're getting ready to put the Tacoma on console now. Um, this will come out on PC first, and then about a week later, maybe two at most, you'll be able to see it on console. Um, and it it's just really is incredible. I'm so shocked at how this handles. This is uh, quite the truck really is obviously we're not going to take it over those pipes so let's go up the logs here the sounds and animations on it are really nice too I do enjoy that and you can see the play in a lot of the suspension here especially on the rear axles now semi trucks I don't think normally have that much play in them but you do get to see it here, guys, and it just looks absolutely incredible. Watching me drive this and driving it are definitely going to be two different things. I think you're going to be very amazed at how this handles. Um, obviously, we can't fit in this little rut here that I usually go through. But we are going to hit the trail a little bit, though. I want to get a feel for how it does there. It maneuvers really well, too. Um, I haven't seen any situations where seems like a hassle like the turning radius everything just seems spot on uh, and again we're gonna adjust the damage and stuff like that obviously uh, so some of these tree branches are pretty big I would I wish snow runner did something different with these tree branches I really do and see we're stuck on one now and it just sunk in there we go absolutely incredible guys it really is and this is an OP at all this is amazing I think this is gonna be perfect for the logging contracts I really do mowing down the trees I'm not entirely sure what all we're doing for add-ons for the bumpers and stuff I'm sure something will be 
we'll get something creative going. But uh, for now, this is a really amazing base, and it kind of feels a lot like the Tacoma. Um, having this truck at the early stages perform as well as it does really paints a good picture for how this is going to perform when it's all done. And uh, if it works out the same way as the Tacoma, it's going to be an amazing truck. It's going to be one you're not going to want to miss. And that goes without saying. Also, I think what we're going to do is hopefully have Iceberg in the next video to talk about future development of the Kenworth. Um, and just kind of give you guys an inside look of how we discuss things when it comes to these trucks. It is very interesting to say the least. I never even came this far back before, so it'll be interesting. Probably in the next video I'm going to add a trailer here with some weight to see how it handles hauling weight up these hills, but this is looking good. And there's a few more surprises we got in store between this and some of the other mods we're working on, but it's all, it's all getting pretty exciting, to say the least. And the brakes are just absolutely incredible, guys. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. This is where we're going to call it. But make sure, guys, you drop a like on the video. Drop a sub on the channel and check out Delta Gaming. Make sure you do. Show some love to Iceberg, guys. We'll catch you with the next one.